In this video, we're going to discuss what happens when you have those zero dollar amounts showing up on your accounts payable report. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead in here under reports, vendors and payables, AP aging summary, and I run my AP report. All of this is looking correct, and I get down here and I see some zeros. All right, no need to panic, <laughs> it's okay. What basically is happening is that means that we have a bill and a payment that aren't applied to each other or a bill and a credit that aren't applied to each other. So how do we fix that? So one thing we can do is you can go up to vendors and say vendors pay bills. All right, I'm going to say all the bills for Washuta Sun and Painting. And when I click on this bill here, notice that it has a credit for $600 sitting down there as well. So that's why it shows up as a $0 amount because it's saying you owe $600. You also have a credit of $600, but they aren't applying, applied to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and say set credits, say done, pay selected bills, and that comes off of my AP Aging. The other option that I have is to click on the zeros and zoom in and find out what's going on here. So I always go down to the total zero and click on that because otherwise you'd have to go through each individual one of these. All right, so I'm gonna click on the total and look at that, it shows me here's a bill and here's a bill payment. They're not applied to each other. So the second way you can do it is you open up the bill payment by double clicking on it there shows you here's the bill payment for 625 here's the bill for 625 but it's not applying any amount to it so i'm going to go ahead and check mark off next to that now the 625 is being applied to this bill i'm going to say save and close and when i do that it comes off of our aph summary list so that's how you take care of those zero dollar balances on your aph summary reports